Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I'm Burning Dog Face, and it's Groundhog Day. What better day could there be to play a game about time manipulation? <laughs> Whoops! Sorry about that. Still figuring out the dagger of time. Well then, on that ridiculous note, let's continue finding our way through the garden. Hey, you made it! Oh, and I've got good news, Burning Dog fans. Uh, it seems that by default, uh, numpad key one is an alternate, uh, mapping for cancel. You know, drop down a ledge or put your sword and dagger away. But numpad one is also the button I use to start my recordings. Which is a problem for that gag I just did, because... As soon as I hit record, he would put the sword and dagger away. So when I went into the options menu to rebind it, I stuck it on J because no other because it's out of the way and no other uh, commands use J. When I was doing that, I discovered that despite the fact that the game tells you about the primary mapping of E, there's actually a much more uh, comfortable uh, mapping of the middle mouse button to the dagger of time. So that's awesome. Oh, fuck, really? I think I have to run over, the, over there, jump off, and, uh hit the pillar and then land on the uh, pole there well, it's a good thing I've got plenty of tanks actually know what I'm supposed to do there. Okay, running over will get me nowhere. Fuck! Theoretically, if I kept going, I could end up over there, but what good would that do? Okay, now I'm over here. Oh, is that, can I... 
I thought that was just another painted on ledge. Like the one just below it there. Oh yeah, that 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 helps. Oh god. Oh, this is scary as fuck. Oh, oh wait. Where the fuck even am I? Oh, look at that! The one I care about right now is at the... it's behind that stupid pillar. No, you know what? I'm gonna do the, the, the way they want me to. Or not. Oh, shit. Where's it gonna load me now? No, 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 that didn't... Okay, that's bad, but it's not as bad as I was worrying. Here's the part where I'm tempted to just start the video over and pretend none of that ever happened. But no! I'm not a Prince of Persia master! This is a let's play, not a walkthrough! I wonder if there's going to be a giant mirror. There was a bit I always liked in the uh, original Prince of Persia game. You'll notice that I didn't actually come into contact with it. Alright, that was my bad. I thought it moved faster than it did. Oh, fuck's sake! Seriously considering just throwing myself off the edge and, uh... Getting my tanks back. Oh yeah, all of those are instant death traps.
Can I? Can I get away with this? If I fuck up and die again, I'll just load the game and, uh... Okay. If I fuck up and die this time, I'm just going to jump cut back to this point, so don't worry about it. Yeah, I was starting to mention, there's a bit in the original uh, Prince of Persia games I really liked where in order to continue, you have to run through this giant mirror. Or jump through it or something. It's a giant magical mirror. And when you jump through it, instead of the glass breaking, you just magically pass straight through it, and an evil reflection of you pops out the other side, and this guy shows up for the rest of the level kind of dicking you over, like apparently at one point he steals a health potion, and at another point he steps into view onto a pressure point just in time to block off the obvious safe path you were, go you were about to take, so you have to find a long convoluted one filled with traps to go around. I never made it that far myself, but I'm told that, uh... you eventually deal with that guy By, uh... I'm going to deal with that guy in a sword fight, where... He mirrors everything you do. Like, when he blocks... When you block, he blocks. When, uh... Oh, I see. This is the Q view. I think this is actually easier. You can't jump to the side. You can only jump straight away. Yeah, you eventually uh, deal with him in the sword fight where he does everything you do. So whenever you hit him, he hits you. Basically, you can't win this fight. And uh, apparently a lot of people had trouble with this, but, you know, going by some of the comments I saw on the internet, but the way you uh, defeat that encounter is by, uh, I don't trust that thing on the wall up there. you defeat that encounter is by sheathing your sword and uh, jumping into the guy. At which point the good prince and the mirror prince oh fuck basically merge with each other. That's not how it happened. Great. They merge with each other Oh. Let's not look at the children. Happen. That didn't actually didn't happen the first time. The traps didn't get triggered. I'm sure I pulled that. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm a moron. Um. Yeah, you and the Mirror Prince merge together, and, uh... Only one United Prince stands at the end.
No. God damn it. That should have worked. No, no, no. That didn't happen. May I start again? Right. It isn't E. Hey, there she is. That is perhaps the worst weapon to use against these guys. Oh, jeez. Fuck, I forgot if we could, if we could even, yeah. Gotta get back on my feet! Sorry, dude. He's not your dad anymore. Not dead. What the hell wasn't that guy taking damage? Oh. 
Fuck you! Fuck! No, I will not get hit by that strike! shitty time for the episode to be ending. The worst part is there's a healing pool right at the end over there. You're dead! This is an unmanageable amount of dudes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. I try to get out of this hot mess. Later. Hey guys, this is the shortest video of the day, and I thought I would tack on this bit at the end from an earlier save, so that nothing is spoiled. And I wanted to show you, uh, what happens when you quit the game. Do you wish me to leave before finishing my story? The prince gets all sad about it. As you wish. <laughs> Later!